AMD is about to release an entire new lineup of GPUs and CPUs to combat Nvidia's supercards and Intel's refresh, but before I get to that, Intel's prepping a more powerful GPU, AMD launches a new CPU and two secret AMD cards? Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. But first, I've got a depressing fact for you. Only one in three of the people who watch my channel regularly are subscribed. That means most of you just sit back, watch, and never commit. And all I could think was, Cowards do that and that ain't you! You're better than that! So prove me right, that's not you. Hit subscribe and that bell icon so you never miss the biggest stories in PC hardware again. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, Intel looks to be prepping a more powerful gaming GPU. As you can see right down here, it says Intel has been working on launching a higher end Arc Battle Mage graphics card, and there's evidence to support this. While the company remains silent on its Arc plans, rumors are slowly gaining momentum that a potential Arc B770 graphics card is heading for launch. And the newest little bit of news that we have on this, it says the data miner Hayes recently noticed shipping manifest featuring G31 and C32 GPUs. These show that Intel has been sending paper boxes measured like this around June this year. As others have pointed out, Intel followed the same pattern with the Arc B580 about two and a half months before launch. In fact, the B580 packaging manifests were spotted exactly one year ago today. And as far as what we're talking about here for the B770, Rumors point to this bad boy getting a whopping 32 XE2 cores. Now, that may not sound all that great, but it's 60% more cores over the B580. Not only that, but according to this, we're also looking at 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 across a 256-bit bus. So yeah, if you were hoping to get a faster Intel GPU, it very much could be happening, and it really could be pretty impressive. The question is, is it too late? Should Intel have released this months ago? But given the fact that both Nvidia and AMD have cards likely right around the performance of this, is it just too late? Or could they price it so well that it doesn't matter? And next up for today, if you remember not too long ago, I covered a story about an upcoming AMD CPU without integrated graphics. It's called the 9500F, and it has officially been released. As you can see down here, it's a six core 12 thread CPU with a base frequency of 3.8 gigahertz and a boost clock of up to five gigahertz. It also has a TDP of 65 watts, L3 cache, 32 megabytes, six megabytes of L2 cache, 480 kilobytes of L1 cache. And it of course comes with the integrated GPU disabled. Now, that's not a huge deal for gamers as most of us use a discrete GPU anyway. So it's ultimately just to save a bit of money. As far as performance, AMD shared this, comparing it to last gen 7500F. And as you can see, it beats it out by as much as 24%. Not bad at all. But when it comes to price, it's currently selling for roughly $180, which wouldn't be that bad, but the 9600X sells for right around the same price. Now, I mentioned that it's roughly $180 because it's currently a China-only CPU, so we had to look at the exchange rate to get that figure. Hopefully, AMD will sell it elsewhere soon, though here's the hoping it's for even less. And next up, AMD apparently has two secret gaming GPUs that they're working on behind the scenes. Now, this isn't the refresh that I mentioned, I'll get to that in a second, but they are a couple interesting cards. For starters, one user found something very interesting inside updated documents for AMD's Rockham software. For those who don't know, Rockham is AMD's open software compute platform with the ultimate goal of competing with Nvidia's CUDA core. Within the documentation, they found a GPU called the 9060XL. And of course, if you know anything about AMD's lineup, you know that a 9060XL doesn't exist, at least not yet. Now, there is a chance that this is just a typo on AMD's side. We know that they use Navi XL and Navi XT for code names, so this could just be the 9060 non-XT, but it does seem odd. This certainly could be a variant slightly lower than the 9060 XT. With that said, there's another GPU that looks way more likely. 
and it first leaked a couple weeks ago on the Board Channels forum. And I do have a newer leak on this, but I'll get to that in just a second. Either way, one leaker on the forum claimed that AMD was planning to upgrade the 9070 GRE model to a 16 gigabyte model between September and October. For those who don't know, the current 9070 GRE is a China only GPU that comes with 3072 cores and 12 gigabytes of memory. So this new leak talks about a 16 gigabyte variant of that. And I never really covered this before because I couldn't find much more info on it. Well, in a new video from Moore's Law is Dead, he claims that this GPU is in fact real. And while the 16 gigabytes of memory is is slightly slower, the clocks are quite a bit faster. So much so that it's apparently set to come in just under the 9070 non-XT's performance. We're talking 5-10% to away. And the interesting part about this is that he claims that it would go on sale for around $450 to $500, which would make it quite possibly the best bang for your buck GPU out there. Of course, that's if it actually retails for that and if it launches in the US. But if this does end up being true, it really could could be a great GPU. And lastly for today, AMD is set to release a complete refresh of their RX 9000 GPUs and Ryzen 9000 CPUs, at least if this leaker is correct. If you've been following the channel, you know that Nvidia is planning to launch a new series of super GPUs to better compete with AMD's RX 9000 cards, and they're planning to launch them this year. Now, while the timing is pretty soon, we've seen NVIDIA launch mid-generation refreshes multiple times at this point, but AMD usually doesn't have anything to respond. That is, until now. This one originally comes from Moore's Law is Dead, who claims that board partners as well as retailers are essentially saying, stay tuned soon. That ultimately led him to believe that AMD is planning to release refresh GPUs and CPUs around CES of next year. And that CPU side of things makes sense as well. Well, given the fact that Intel's own CFO just confirmed a refreshed Aero Lake. We've seen rumors about this for a little while now, but Intel just made it official. So AMD may be planning a counter to both Nvidia's refresh and Intel's. What that will look like is ultimately up in the air. I wouldn't expect huge changes, but there's a chance that we could see more memory to counter the memory in Nvidia's upcoming supercards, maybe faster clocks. Either way, this yet again proves the power of competition. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's response to Intel's new CPUs and Nvidia's new GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day.